The start of a new year usually doesn't change much in the world's corporate boardrooms. There's the work on annual reports and proxies, but most of that's review. Something boards rarely do is draw up a list of resolutions and changes for the new year. One reason is that the pace of corporate governance change has never been all that speedy. Most boards are pretty satisfied with their own performance, justly or not. But that smugness is fading now. With the rate of business change exploding and becoming more uncertain, boards find themselves trying to manage a runaway corporate horse. What can they do in the year ahead to make their fiduciary role a bit more manageable and steer away from dangers? First, take a searching look at your board membership to start out the new year. Traditional board evaluation just isn't enough today. Despite all the talk about board recruiting for skills now, most boards still look the way they do by chance. You have leftovers, early funders, uh, aged founders of a nonprofit, someone who has connections. It's a jumble sale. Instead, put your governance committee to work hashing out an ideal lineup of skills and profiles your board should have two, three, five years down the road. Don't expect mass turnover today, but regularly update and review your board to see how the real versus ideal is progressing. Second, kick off the new year with something cheerful, discussing all of the crises that could hit the company in the year ahead. What tech trends over the past year have come back to bite the company, things like ransomware, hacking of data. Here's an example. The past year saw sexual harassment turn into a frenzy in the corporate world. Should you review company policies and whistleblowing venues in light of the changing climate on this? And do any of your top execs have skeletons that can come out of the closet now? <clears throat> Finally, take a fresh look at your online board portal usage. Portals have become universal over the past few years. But there are so many providers that pricing and capabilities are all over the map. For the new year, give some thought to how we can customize our current platforms to make it better meet our needs. How can we rationalize processes and train our staff on collaborating and inputting material for the board? This is something that's often overlooked uh, with all of the tech details. And since the portal market is constantly improving, competing, and consolidating, should you reconsider your provider or even build your own portal, which is becoming more practical? Those are some ideas for 2018. I'm Ralph Ward from The Boardroom.